It, it sprouts again from having a government that has no regard for its people. And, and let's face it, the disdain with which our governments have handled our affairs is all written in the corruption and enablement that goes into people who interfere with nature. So when the government does not care about its people, it will give a contract to somebody to do the express highway, and it will know that this person has not done any drainage system, that if it rains, all water pours down to the Mombasa Road, and no one cares. This guy is paid, certificate of completion is given, and all is well. Why? Because nobody cares about the people in the government. Mm. I, I think for one, it, it's time the government showed respect to its people by respecting the laws it has put in place to regulate urbanization and planning in this nation. That's mm -hmm. number one. Mm -hmm. Because we are not short of laws. We have them in plenty. In fact, we have them in abundance. We have many laws that we than what we need. But now the problem is the corruption and the corrupt nature of our leaders and the people we've given positions of influence. Why on earth would you allow somebody to do a house where there is a waterway? And it is known that once you do it here, it will block the water and the water will definitely find a way. Look at our slums. They are done along the liver beds. Mm. You, you find, like in Kibera, there is the liver, that, that, the, the Ngong River that passes through Kibera, right? <coughs> And yet you find thousands of people live by the banks of those liver. What do you expect what the rains come and the water overflows? These people will definitely become victims of their own actions. Mm. But again, the problem we have, and we must call it out, is the government. B because the government has city plans. Mm -hmm. The government, as many rightly put it, ought to have appreciated the fact that we need clear drainage systems. <clears throat> and it ought to have gone on before any road is constructed. The first thing in mind should be where are we going to put an elaborate <coughs> drainage system mm. so that wherever there is water, the water does not flood the roads. The water will find its way to wherever it goes because the water knows where it is coming from and where it is going mm -hmm. because it follows the gradient and the gradient is well known by the planners. Mm. The, the, the rivers will always be, and the water bodies will always be at the lowest point uh, coming from the highest. <coughs> so all that is needed is to create a drainage system that allows water to flow naturally to where it goes. Mm. Prone, flood prone areas are known, well known by planners. Mm. 